I was playing GMAT 1, so the score was 600. So at that time, I was getting 60%, 60-65% uh, accuracy. There, when the topic was good, as usual, I was able to understand the question, and I was able to do that. Now, what happened with this, when I, uh, you know, when I became a part of the uh, beta trial phase, the, the takeaway was for me, even if the passage was not known to you, or the topic of the passage was not known to you, you can correlate, you can correlate the understanding. And how you can do that, that was best exemplified by find out the abstract of the passage, every passage. So, if you write it down, uh, when I prepared for RC, I was, I was reading an RC to solve the question. That was the back of my mind. Uh, but now I think I'm reading an RC to understand the passage and then solve the question. So I believe, uh, as, I, as you correctly said, the reading strategy was the key to solve the RC. Initially, I was only a, a passive reader. Now I think I'm an active reader, irrespective of the topic of the RC. Just to let you know, I do have Aristotle RC 99. Mm -hmm. so I'm trying to incorporate the methods that I've learned over here to those passages. Mm -hmm. And my accuracy has improved. Some of the passages I'm 100%, some of the passages I'm uh, between uh, 80 to 90% of the accuracy. So I think this has really helped me. So what was your accuracy before, uh, you know, the, taking this course? Uh, before is 60%, uh, sometimes, and if it is a difficult RC, uh, then sometimes I, I used to get maybe only one out of four questions right. Mm -hmm. uh, on the worst scenario. So again, it was on the probability, you know, on that day how you perform. Mm -hmm. But I think in one one sentence I can say, this particular method which I have learned now, I can stand up and say what whatever the RC is, read this way, get immersed into the RC, you will tend to solve questions with more confidence, for sure. Uh, influence and uh, main point mm -hmm. and uh, explanation is you know pretty awesome I mean I like the way Pyle explains stuff and uh, how we break down each uh, uh, each question type into you know the subtypes and explain them with examples it's, it's pretty useful pretty good yes one thing that I've noticed you know uh, is that now when I read the para I'm, I actually retain more information than I used to but the moment I started that beta uh, and I went to the first couple of uh, slides, I came to know what I was doing wrong. The first thing I was doing wrong was I was reading the passage from top to bottom without taking any notes. For the last four uh, cats which I gave, like it was uh, three, two, M two MGMAT uh, cats and uh, two uh, GMAT prep cats, uh, in RC I never scored uh, less than 85% uh, after that, 85 percent of questions. I already given demands early uh, once. I know that my RC was one of my weakest area. Like I, out of 13 questions, I get five to six correct, and the rest the remaining was I was getting wrong. So while practicing after practicing open and while practicing OG and while giving the GMAT prep, uh, I saw that I was able to get around 10 to 11 questions correct from 30. Okay, so he has improved. Uh, I was able to solve the questions within that eight minutes or nine minutes for the long RC passages also. Mm -hmm. So in the timing wise also the strategy they were they were effective.